Hey guys, this is James Sketching the Beast. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're just going to do a quick um, speed sketch of Spawn here. I hope you guys really, really enjoy this. Um, so I just decided to do a little bit of oh, a little bit of commentary on on the video because um, it it was requested. Anyways, um, so guys, you can see here, um, I'm just kind of laying out my pencils, very rough. I actually tried to speed the pencils up because I felt like the pencils were probably the most boring part for a lot of people. Um, I'd probably say the pencils and the inks, but <laughs> uh, for those of you who um, who follow me know uh, that I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I've, I've really been really, really enjoying it. And so I got a really large sketch card commission order uh, for about 12 cards that I've been working on. Um, Spawn is just one of them, probably about four or five in, I believe, at this point. But anyways, um, so I had a really cool idea that I wanted to do. I wanted to do Spawn um, kind of, you know, looking, looking all, all bad and with his bad self, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> But anyways, guys, um, so, yeah, I had, I had a whole lot of fun with this, um, and I had a lot of fun with a lot of sketch cards, um, and, you know, Spawn's just such a really cool character that he, he, there's so many different costumes for him and so many different ways you can draw him. I'm actually going to be doing another Spawn sketch very shortly, um, of a different version of Spawn. I'm not quite sure which version of Spawn. I'm thinking between Medieval Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn because uh, those are both two of my favorites. But I also like um, the Angelic Spawn as well. If you guys don't know who those, who those characters are, or what those versions look like, go ahead and uh, go to Google and check it out real quick uh, after this video. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, so here I am. I'm starting the inking process, and actually, so I actually screwed up. Uh, with the top of the head there, and it actually ended up kind of working for me, where I um, I went a little too thick with the line, and thankfully, because again, this is this is a comic sketch card, and um, you know, it, it it gives a little bit more of a toony feel when you give it a thicker line, but I'm I'm trying really hard to practice a lot of my line weights on a lot of these pieces, and that's one of the things that I try to work on with every piece that I do. For, here's a here's a quick tidbit for those of you guys who are artists and are looking to, you know, um, get better continuously. This is what some of us guys who've been doing this for a little while, and I'm not calling myself a professional here, but this is what we talk about when we're talking about practice every day, is even if you're trying to do a finished piece and you're trying to do something that you're creating, make sure that you're challenging yourself in some way or another. Make sure that you're trying out a new technique or, or something even if it doesn't work out and you need to scrap the piece and start all over go ahead and do that because you know what that's how you're gonna grow that's that's the best way to growth I can't I can almost you know I <laughs> if I wasn't so self-conscious about them and I and I didn't absolutely hate them I would probably do a video about all of the terrible terrible drawings I've done um, but unfortunately I'm one of those types of people who, <laughs> who doesn't like to linger on my um, on the things that I've failed at so that's one thing, you know, maybe I'll, I'll try to start doing, going forward and, uh, and stuff. But um, as you can see here, I mean, so Spawn's pretty easy to do as far as, um, you know, his, his upper part of his costume. I mean, it's his, his cowl and uh, his uh, body armor, and he's mostly black. So it, it is very easy. So the, the thing that's fun here, instead of just coloring him all black and then going over it later with... Um, you know, a white paint marker or, or um, gel pen, like I would usually do, is um, trying to have a little bit of fun with uh, the way that the lighting is working on his face and, and, and stuff, uh, just to make it look a little more dynamic. And um, I, I won't lie, I didn't really follow any crazy um, shadowing, uh, coloring, and lighting scheme here. I just knew where my light source was, and I wanted that to... Uh, I wanted to give it some pop when uh, I, I do finally uh, add in the light source physically uh, in the coloring phase. We'll see that in a little bit here. Um, so yeah, here I'm just going, I'm just erasing. Uh, just use a regular, you know, generic eraser. Uh, you can get them super cheap. <clears throat> but um, so uh, some of you guys are, are already like, what are you doing? And uh, so I'm starting off with the oranges here because um, the orange is actually 
So red, red has a, kind of an undertone of, of a little bit of orange and yellows. Um, so the real way, the way that I've been coloring with the Cothics is uh, I start with my base color and I usually do a base color that's obviously the, the mid-tone. Um, and then I do the dark spots and then I, I blend them and I go back, I go back and blend them and then, you know, I leave room for light, lighter areas. So you can see here, obviously I'm, I'm doing orange and then I'm going in with like a, a more reddish orange. And I mean, so actually it, the red just, just always pops on the spawn. And that's one of the things that I really like about the character. Um, not only because red is my favorite color, but <laughs> uh, red is, is just a very, very poppy color if you do it right. I mean, it could be, it could turn out muddy very quickly. Um, but so, yep, red and in reds and, and oranges and pinks here, um, just to kind of blend them in, as you can see. And the cool thing about the Copics is they're not absolute when you are finished with them. It, they're almost like magic markers, and I love them. Um, I, I, I've tried Oahu markers and you know some other cheap brands, and, it, and Copics been probably the best so far so here I wanted to give I wanted to give spawn like a, his aura glow uh, you know with his uh, necoplasm and uh, I thought this was a really cool idea so I started off with the lightest color and then uh, kind of went from there I actually decided to change it up afterwards um, and you'll see that in a second as well where uh, actually go darker with the, with the green um, to give it more depth and this this actually took probably took me a little bit longer than it, it should have overall the sketch card took me an hour to hour to make um, and I had a whole lot of fun and uh, if if you would like one of these videos future I mean comment below if you'd like to hear what goes into um, uh, planning and, and, and my thought process into these these sketch cards and uh, if you would like I can also do a video breaking down how I uh, you know what the price is involved with you know art uh, using these types of equipment and stuff like that um, because uh, it, can, it can get quite costly and you know I I like sketch cards a lot but overall um, I don't make really much money on them at all um, which kind of sucks because I mean they're really cool right and even if you were to work for Upper Deck uh, uh, Marvel or one of those those companies that do the cards you know um, you're not gonna make a lot of I think they maybe do two dollars a card or something so your turnaround time has to be really quick and I'm just not that fast yet um, but I mean it's obviously a great way to get your name out there so I'm not uh, I'm not bashing it in any way right I mean if you can provide a if you can provide a really cool card to people that um, you know is r really sharp, it, it's a good way to get your name out there. I was doing um, five dollar sketch cards for the longest time uh, before I started doing full on commissions and started getting a lot more commissions um, on top of my free giveaways that I would also do, where I would do free giveaways of sketch cards. So that's why I actually really recommend sketch cards and getting yourself into a community uh, if you would like to. But so here now, um, I'm adding the final touches on Spawn. You can see, I'm just, uh, so again, I added in that, uh, that like, little bit of rim lighting. And um, unfortunately, the video doesn't capture as well as, as it looks on the physical card. But um, man, this, um, it, that really made it pop. It made, it made a huge difference. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you would like, um, you know, please share this and, uh, Comment below what you thought. What would you like to see in future ones? I'd like to start doing this on a more regular basis and um, giving back to you guys in, in the ways that I can. Um, you know, and this is one of them. So, I mean, if you'd like this video to be faster, if you'd like it uh, without my annoying voice, <laughs> um, please uh, comment and let me know. Um, I promise, no offense. Anyways, uh, until next time, guys, this has been James Catching the Beast. Uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.